Hi, here we are, I'm back. Sorry for the long time with no videos because I was moving to the new house and the new room, my own laboratory. Not longer staying in the staircase. Um, it's much better because <laughs> I have an own heater, I have an own window and also a television. Um, that is awesome. Um, some things already decorated here, um, still not perfect. But my workbench is quite big, so that I have to step back to get it on the screen. That is the main workbench for electronic things. There is the workbench for computer things. There you see a computer motherboard hanging at the wall, an old Apple, soldering iron. There, washing. Yeah, it was a kitchen before. It's in the third floor of the old house, but it's a very nice room. And here's for woodworking. And underneath the pullover is an old power supply from my granddad. But now back to the new power supply. It's a kit from Banggood.com. Um, I like it very much and already um, modified it a little bit. So I put a power transistor onto an old computer fan. Um, what I will show you is the performance a little bit. I attached an amp meter and a volt meter. Amp meter is from is a Unity and the volt meter is the Benny. Um, to switch it on, I'm using a remote control. Almost everything is a remote control in this room. Oh wait, I'll show you. You can see, switching on those things. Also remote controlled. So, uh, back to this. Okay, um, I set it up before to 5 volt output. But as long as you do doesn't um, set the amps, you see off. So nothing come out. So I turn it up, I set it to 1 amp. Yeah, almost one. Yeah. Uh, one doesn't matter, it's not so precise. Uh, 5 volt is the output, looks not bad. Um, also showing here at the electronic load. And the oscilloscope is doing some fancy things. There's some spikes, but very low, so doesn't matter. Um, I turn up the electronic load. I will say, okay, get me one amp load. Uh, if I get more than one amp, any things will happen. But now I'm at one amp. We this also still saying uh, 0 0.92 amp, 0 0.95. Um, it's not so precise thing here, but I think this is the best value: 9. 950 milliamp, and that is quite precise. The unity, but for the other things, it is still enough. Uh, the voltage dropped a little bit at the output, oh, but what I measure, because I didn't measure the output, I measure it on the electronic load behind the um, amp range here. So you will have a little drop. I check it already at the output pins and it's still 5 volt there, so don't worry, it's acceptable. Um, I want to get more power out of it, so I turn up the voltage. You see we still get the same amount of amp, but here we're already consuming 20 watt. And I set it to 20 watt, I think 20 watt output should be enough. So, yeah. so and here 20, 20 and almost 1 amp. So um, on the scope you see it's getting a little bit more messy now after we are consuming higher um, apps um, but it's still okay it's about 200 100 milliwatt peak peak uh, 200 milliwatt peak peak it's okay for me for my purpose so but I want to show you the fan and the noise it makes um, in the moment the heat sink it's a little bit warm but not hot because it's very big we are getting 20 watt and now I will try set it up, set it higher to, I think 2 amps is the max. So, and the electronic load also to about 2 amp and see what happened. We are getting now about 30 watt out of the thing, 35. The electronic load can do 50 watt when I remember. So I get 37, 38. Voltage at the output or what I measure drop a little bit. Uh, we are getting 1.8 amp at the amp meter, and here it's a little bit 
um, dodgy messy it is start to jump around um, maybe it's too high I'm not sure but normally for my projects I'm not using 20 volt at 2 amp um, and if I need this high amps I can still use the correct or if I can get it one the old beefy volt um, power source from my grandfather you can hear already this can deliver high power it's I think it weighed about 40 pound of 20 kilo uh, but it has some issues I really have to look inside and do something with it I'm not sure what's wrong I just rescued from the basement in the old house so um, you see here it's getting more and more messy getting already to uh, almost 400 watt, milliwatt peak peak so it's not the best but for about 20 bucks it's a very nice power source um, it's easy to build all throughout parts and the performance is not so bad I still have to check the sinks and now it is still cold because I'm really have a little bit bigger um, heat sink than they would come and this was something like this very small a fifth of it maybe but hey I have this laying around why should I not use it um, the camera today is a little bit I know makes you sick maybe but hey uh, it's the first week I'm living in the new house so I have no idea where to put the camera yet so here again the electronic load the electronic load is has already switched on the fan I can hear it already but here the fan hmm, where it's too low maybe when I do a shortcut so to show this I just make shortcut maybe with maybe with a shortcut it will start the fan soon okay i make a shortcut oscilloscope say nothing it says 2 amp here because now the transistor has a lot more power to dissipate because all the 24 25 volt that comes in has to get killed in the in the power transistor and going to the um, heat sink the heat sink is getting warm a little bit already but still no worry not so warm that I can't hold it we are still getting about 2 amp what we set up so the amp still works very well and it's a really um, how to say it in English um, I have no idea it's just tell you that you can shortcut the circuit in. Ah, short shortcut protected shortcut protection work yeah I think so but no LED there's no LED that should show you that you are on constant voltage or constant constant uh, current that is a little bit annoying because I like to have an LED that show you constant current or that it's a shortcut maybe I can plug uh, apply this later so the heatsink here still getting warm but not too warm we have still 2 amp output and Oh, let me check the power source. Oh, this is still okay. Oh, maybe before it starts, I can show you a little bit more in the laboratory. These are the tools, materials. Yeah, it was not the most important room, of course. We have a living room, we have dining room. Oh, now it's switched on. Okay, it is running now and cooling down very fast. If I remove the shortcut, it doesn't take long before it um before it stops spinning because it cools very fast okay that's all for today nine minutes of blah 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 um i hope i can output more videos soon bye bye